another episode of Strategic Minds Making Money Moves, where we provide those strategies to do what? Make that green. I am so excited to have a great guest with me today. Nika Scott Arnold is here with us. She's going to talk to us about her business, what she does, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what happens when you start off free and you wanna get paid. Welcome aboard. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here today. And I'm so glad that you came. Will you share with our audience a little bit about your business? Yes, so I'm Nika Arnold Scott and I have an, a business called The Wifey Rehab. So what I do is I teach wives how to recover their identity in order to build happy, healthier relationships. Oh, wow. So how <laughs> do you do that? My gosh, that sounds so intriguing. It is. Um, basically, we start with you. You know, a lot of people think that when they get married, it's just all about the husband, the wife, the kids, you know, but internally you feel like you lose yourself because you're so focused on building that family. So we start with basically recovering your identity. Who were you before, you know, you became a married person? Who were you before you, you know, became a mom? And we just start from there. So we get down back to the basics of who you were before everybody else was added to your life. That's awesome. And you know, um, as we talk about that, I would love for you to share with the audience, what strategy would you like to discuss today? I would like to discuss the strategy of when you start out offering things just because of your sheer passion and you start out doing it for free, how do you then begin to monetize off of that when you want to level up in your business? All right. Well, you know, it's one thing um, when you're in your passion area, it's hard not to just tell the answers and give it away and just say it's okay. Um, and I can definitely relate to this because I'm guilty of it. You know, doing a lot of coaching that I do, people will call me and they'll, we're in a discovery call, it's supposed to be 15 minutes. We talked an hour later that I didn't get paid for, yes. that they asked me questions and I gave them all the answers, yes. right? So I definitely can relate to that. But I think what it means is, is that when you are going from free to paid, you have to start off small and incrementally move up. Mm -hmm. I also think, and we'll talk about how to do that, but I also think that your community is the best community to help you get started. So how do you do that? Whether you're having coffee chats with individuals in the community, with that relationship, why are you here? Mm -hmm. What value are you getting? What makes you come every day? What makes you participate in this community engagement? I'd love to understand your motivation. What are those factors? All of that data is really going to give you insights as to how to use it to sell to the next customer to be paid. Mm -hmm. the, um, and, and they begin to understand how I go about doing that, right? And people say, well, do a survey. A survey is so not personal, right? And when you're dealing in an organization that is very personal, you're talking about people and who they are, how they valued, where they went, what they did, things that they enjoyed, what are they losing? You want that personal connection. Mm -hmm. So start with your community. Use them as your own internal focus group, right? And that focus group is gonna give you a lot of data. Okay. The second thing is, is that as you get that data and you begin to analyze it and research it and you get your stories, your marketing strategist that you work with that says, you know what? I have a brand. People know me as the person who's going to come and help them get back to who they are. But I want to take that brand of who I am as an expert to leverage within my business. And a good marketing strategist will tell you how to market yourself and your business to show the value that you can bring to someone else. For example, women, when they get married, we know marriage is all about compromise. Yes. Right? It's all about compromise. Yes. It is truly a J-O-B job. Full time. 24-7. Full time. <laughs> Full time. It is truly a job. Now, there may be little things that your, your significant other does that, um, that drives you crazy. It's just a pet peeve. Mm -hmm. You know, when you brush your teeth and there's toothpaste left in the sink and you don't clean that, drives me crazy, mm -hmm. right? So what do I do about that? Well, as, as we are trying to compromise, we all have 
a breaking point. Mm -hmm. There's just some things that are non-negotiable correct? that I can't compromise on. And we may start out a relationship where everybody understands that. But as we grow mm -hmm. and we get older and we change, things change. Yes. And then we begin to lose connection with one another. Right? Correct. You solve that connection. You fill that gap. You help a relationship fill the gap from where it was to where it needs to be. From the change. Mm. From the change. Yes. You're helping them fill that gap. Before I got married, I used to listen to music all the time. Turn my music on and it was through the house. Get married, no music because they don't like to listen to music. And 25 years later, you're sitting and going, you know what? I'm missing something. Yes. It was that music, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you're helping people fill that gap to understand what that means as you continue to move forward. So it's important that we talk about how we take that gap and bring value to you so you're now willing to pay for my services. So we're going to take a station break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about how do I actually tell that story to sell it? And what are three or four steps that I can take to actually begin taking small revenue in from people who are already here, but taking bigger revenue in from new people you want to join? We're going to take a station break. We'll be right back. Strategic Minds, Making Money Moves with Vicki Wright Hamilton focuses on helping entrepreneurs to overcome their business challenges to help increase their bottom line. Each episode provides strategies for growth and transformation. Watch Vicki share her 20 plus years of experience as a corporate executive to help entrepreneurs level up. When I was in college, I had a college professor to tell me I would never ever make it in technology. He told me that I needed to change my career all because I took a test and got a D after studying so very hard. I knew at that point that I had to learn the game of life and survival. How did I do that? I really put on my game face so that they never knew what to expect when, where, or how. See, life has all of its journeys and obstacles. We all have a story to tell, and we have many different paths that we take. My journey to this moment has not been easy. You have to play the game, play to win, and you win by wearing your game face. Before our station break, we were actually talking about the fact of, you know, we want to be able to give value and how do I start when I've gone from free? I think it's really important when you recognize that you were free and people see you that way. Once you have gotten your value from talking to those individuals, offer that first community a strong discount when you first start. Okay. They are your ambassadors. So you helped me, you believed enough in me to join this community when we started. And I wanna give you plenty of advance notice that as we continue to move forward, I'm looking for a $5 a month subscription, whatever it is, mm, right? Okay. I'm looking for something monthly just to help to contribute as we move forward. But with the valuable information I've been able to receive, it's going to allow me an opportunity to grow my business. And I don't want you all to have to suffer from the growth. You're actually grandfathered in. Mm -hmm. So that you're now going to start at this price as we continue to incrementally move forward. Now, you got all the data and information. Someone new wants to come and join. Mm, right? I like that, Vicki. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good to me. I like so that. now somebody wants to come and join. Yes. And now you've learned your true value. Mm. That somebody said, I'd have paid $100 for this if I had to. What you've given me is worth X. 
And that's why you want to understand from multiple people, multiple personalities, multiple individuals, because everybody doesn't see things the same way. Right. And then it also will allow you to develop your packages because you might end up having a community that they say, I'd really like to have more focus with introverts. Mm. I'd like to have more focus with extroverts. I'd like to have more focus with people who've been married more than once. I'd like to have more focus with people who've been, you know, who, who are, are divorced, they're widowed, and, and they're now single, and they're older. What do I do, mm-hmm. right? And I'm dating. I'm in that date stage, right? So I still have a significant other as a date, but we don't want to lose ourselves when we date either, right? Because mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's part of telling our story as to who we are authentically, right? right? So the deal is, is that you truly want to be able to get all of this information develop and design your customized program within your community and then charge for it. So when somebody comes to you, your discovery call with that person as well, I want to know a little bit about your background and how long have you been married and where did you meet and what are the things you have in common that you love to do because something brought you together. What's that you have in common? What are your biggest pet peeves? And does he do any of those pet peeves? Mm -hmm. And how do you feel today? Are you feeling like you've lost? Why do you feel like you've lost? And what have you lost? As you begin to get that information through that discovery call, you can go to that one program and say, "Mm, I got just a program for you. We have a community that is based in X, and I think this would satisfy your needs and bring the value that you need to move forward. We have another one that's over here that once you finish this segment, you might want to go from this program to this program. So now we have multiple programs. Right. And you have multiple communities and then you begin to have multiple things that, you know, as you're writing books, as you're doing ebooks, as you're writing articles, as you're doing. You can now focus to each one of those individual needs. Mm-hmm. Right. You can write book. That you might write a book that has a summary, 12 chapters long. Each one of them is about a different program. Right. When that program is really about a different issue a different customization, a different thing that you're looking for. So you sell that book, whether it's the ebook, a regular book. And then when people say, I really identify with chapter six. Oh, well, that's, I'm glad you did. We got a special program for chapter six. Oh, okay. I, I really identify with chapter seven. So now we got a special program for chapter seven. Okay. You wrote an article. You do, you know, people love to get something free. Yes. There's nothing like giving something free. And when you give them just a small piece of value and it's free, they begin to go, wait a minute, this person hit home with me. Mm -hmm. I understood what that meant, right? And so you write an article, you give them some information. When they call you, you now go, oh, well, I got a program for that. I got a service for that. I can offer a program over here for that, right? So you end up growing and multiplying where your first cohort, that was your focus area and taught you the things you needed to know about your audience, they're going to support you because you gave them, you grandfathered them in, you're giving them that value, and now you're going to ask them to be the success stories to tell others. Got it. Let them be your success stories to tell others, right? Okay. So it might be a conversation that says, look, We've been having this community and I haven't charged a thing for all of that. And I only want two things. I am going to have to have a price increase because I, you know, I got to pay my bills too. But I respect the fact that you all gave your time. So my price for being able to do this is going to be $5 for every community session we have, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of moving forward. And here's what I need from you. I need to know what value I'm giving you. And I'd like to have a 30 second spot. Now, some people may say, I don't want to get on camera. Okay, give me a quote. You don't have to sign your name. This is just what my customers are saying. Because you can use those blurbs in your marketing. Right. So this is what my customers are saying about me. And then I want you to promote me. I want you to share my stuff. So when I write an article, just forward it. That's all I'm asking you to do. When, when I put something out there, just connect with it. That's all I'm asking you to do. Because what happens is when they believe in you, and that's what brings them there, and you're continuing to meet their needs, they're going to take that and move it forward. So now you got your own marketing people that are helping you sell what you want to sell that you were given for free that had a lot of value and you never got your value back and earning income to keep your business going. What a major money move. (laughs) (laughs) And after all, after all, isn't that what we're trying to do? Absolutely. Right? We want to add value, but we got to live. 
Yeah. We got to make it happen. Yeah. We got to be able to have something to offer to do that. Yeah. So I really think that, um, you know, um, your ability to go from unpaid to paid is wide. And there's lots of opportunity there. So we're going to take a station break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about a few more tips and see if we have a question or comment from the audience. We'll be right back. Strategic Minds, Making Money Moves, with Vicki Wright Hamilton, focuses on helping entrepreneurs to overcome their business challenges to help increase their bottom line. Each episode provides strategies for growth and transformation. Watch Vicki share her 20 plus years of experience as a corporate executive to help entrepreneurs level up. When I was in college, I had a college professor to tell me I would never, ever make it in technology. He told me that I needed to change my career, all because I took a test and got a D after studying so very hard. I knew at that point that I had to learn the game of life and survival. How did I do that? I really put on my game face so that they never knew what to expect when where or how. See, life has all of its journeys and obstacles. We all have a story to tell and we have many different paths that we take. My journey to this moment has not been easy. You have to play the game, play to win, and you win by wearing your game face. As we were having some great conversation and talking about some of those great money moves and strategies. I hope you all are getting your pens and papers out and taking some notes, um, you know, as we're continuing to move forward. One of the things that I really wanted to talk about um, before we ended today was really talking about marketing strategies um, as you're continuing to move forward and understanding that audience and where that goes. And, you know, as I think about being married and I think about losing myself and all that, where are those constituents? Where do you find them? Yeah. Whether they're a partner, whether they're a wife, a husband, it doesn't matter, right? We have, you know, we have all kinds of significant others, right. you know, all people, all kinds of mates, everybody has to adjust to the same thing. Mm -hmm. So how do you take that marketing and effort and understand where's my audience going? Yeah. Right? right? Where do they live? What do they do? Where are their hobbies? What do they like? If I'm looking for, you know, um, um, people who are just dating, are they really an audience for me? And if so, how do I develop a package for that? Because right. I contend your wife elements is just as important as husband elements, as just as important as partner elements yes. as you continue to move forward. Right? Right, right? So I think your audiences, as you begin to take content, can be applicable across all and can also start you to getting to eventually a growth strategy of partners together. So how are we solving our issues together? Okay. You got these challenges, you've got these challenges, here's some helpful hints that may come together. So as you continue to grow and develop, just think outside of the box and know I can be bigger than what I am mm -hmm. and I can do more. Mm -hmm. I also would encourage you, think internationally. Mm -hmm. Think internationally. Mm -hmm. We've got so many people from different countries with different cultures yes. and different backgrounds. And they may be adjusting to the same issue and more challenges that they have to deal with, whether it's a custom in their country, whether it's the way that they were raised, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. But getting knowledge about that allows a growth that you can have because now I can relate to, you know, women that are from Egypt and what their rules are and mm -hmm. that are Islam and what their rules are and you know how they how how they're supposed to be mates. I can relate to arranged marriages. What happens when you have arranged marriages? 
What do you do? How do you adapt after that to keep going? So begin to think about this is just the beginning of something you can prosper and grow monumentally mm. in terms of making it happen. Like and that. so you can take these growth strategies and pilot them. Do a small pilot group with one culture. Do a small pilot group with another culture. Do it with women. Do it with you know older women. Do it with younger women, right? Um, so you're helping them with where they are and allowing that community to grow. Because the worst thing is, is that you could become a part of a community and now your community is so big that the issues that you're talking about are only to a segment of the audience mm -hmm. and now you've lost me because it's not pertinent to me, Got right? It. So um, that customization becomes extremely important. And then as you market, you can market to that customization. Okay. All right, let's see if we have a question or a comment from the audience. Hey, I'm Sheehan Otley reed from SOR Solutions. And I love your business. Thank you. And being a wife of 11 years, I just wanted to know, like, where do we find you? How, how do we find you so that we can have a conversation? I'm literally everywhere, okay? I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. I am literally everywhere. So you can find me on TikTok at The Wifey Rehab, pretty much on, across all platforms at The Wifey Rehab. You can inbox me. I personally answer my inboxes because I like to give people that personal touch, that personal experience. So you're not gonna get anyone from my team. You're actually gonna get me. And I do offer coffee with me sessions. So girl, buy me a cup of coffee and let's talk. <laughs> there you go. And yes. when it's virtual, we have a virtual free cup of coffee. Yes, we and can. Let's talk. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. You know, those are the benefits um, of being able to be out there. And that's why it's so important that we had that we leverage our marketing strategies as we move forward and that we get other people to as they're following us getting them to share our content so you can have that 2 million followers and 3 million followers yeah. and have so many people that are part of your community you can't keep up right yes. um, and then begin to offer all of these programs and products and services to service those um, constituents as you're moving forward right yes. you know yes. in terms of doing that because I'll tell you it's um I think about you know know um, the dating scene today and mm -hmm. how people are like I can't find that right mate and this one doesn't click with me and and I have a pet peeve here and I'm trying to make it work and I just feel like I can't be myself should I stay should I not yeah. but I really love them or I really love her or I, I'm crazy about them yeah. there's just one or two things that are not coming together and so um, I love the fact that you are helping people to fill the gap of who I was to who I am, yeah, right? Thank you. And what does that really mean? Yeah. Just because I have someone by my side does not mean I gotta lose who I am. I Absolutely. can still authentically be me. Yes. So I can't wait to hear all about those strategies that come out, all that information that you continue to share as we continue to move forward. Thank you. I'd like to ask you all to thank you so much for having Nika on the show today. Well, as you can see on Strategic Minds Making Money Moves, we provide those strategies so you can get that dream. I am so happy that you joined us for this episode and look forward to seeing you next time.